The Vita Den's 100 and 200 E-Series boilers come complete with Wi-Fi on board. This video will describe where to find the Wi-Fi label, what information is required to set up the Wi-Fi, and where to place the label so that this information can be referenced in the future by the end user or contractors. You can identify the label which contains the Wi-Fi information because it includes the Wi-Fi symbol. The QR code on the left-hand side of the label is used for guided setup using the Vita Troll or Vito Guide apps. On the right-hand side of the label, you will find several text fields. If you wish to set up the Wi-Fi without using the QR code manually, there are two fields which are important. These are the WPA2 network security password and the hotspot SSID network name. The Wi-Fi labels along with the telemetry control unit are packaged inside the HMI. The HMI is shipped in a separate box within the boiler packaging, as shown here. On the front side of the HMI is the interface and touchscreen that will be used to interact with the boiler when it's installed. On the back of the HMI is the TCU Wi-Fi transceiver, a fixed Wi-Fi information label, and a strip of movable Wi-Fi labels. Remove the strip of labels from underneath the holding clip and relocate them in places where the information on the Wi-Fi can be referenced later. Take at least one of the Wi-Fi labels and locate it on the outside of the boiler where the owner can see it. Here are some suggested locations where you could place the label. This information is required during commissioning and any time there are changes made to the Wi-Fi configuration as well as access to applications like VitoGuide and vCare. Place one label in the operator's manual in the location provided. Thank you.